What is up everyone, welcome back to the Fallout fan page. Today we are back in Appalachia in Fallout 76. We are currently down in the Cranberry Bog, right outside of the great city of Watoga as you can see behind me. And today, we are focusing here on Fort Watoga and the player uh, Terror... Sorry, I'm gonna butcher this. I am terribly sorry, but Terrorism... Terrorism... Uh, something like that. Um, <laughs> this is their this is their uh, camp. This is a fort. It's called Fort Watoga, as you can see right there. It is a Brotherhood of Steel fort. And let's go for a little tour on the outside here. Bunch of turrets, as a fort should have. You got the. Need to secure a supply chain in the southeast. I don't know who that is. You got the towers on, I believe, three. Yeah, three corners out of the four. You'll see why it's only on three in a minute when we get in there. We got even turrets on this side and on this side. That's another player camp there. But you come up here to the front, you got the great old American flag. And you got two ways you can go. You got the decon side, or you got the regular side. And you can close the doors as well. Um, or the door is only one. You can close it and open it, you can, so you can go on lockdown practically with the real fort. But you come in here, past the decong stuff and entrance, and it's big. It's It doesn't look that big from the outside, but it is big. So, we will start by going the to the right here. We got the power supply. supply. We have the Brotherhood of Steel collection, Collectron Station. And we got some maps, and in here is the little vendor area and this is what they have in there currently I bought I don't know probably 9,000 close to 9,000 caps worth of clothing that I didn't have yet I love to collect clothing if you haven't known that yet this is what they have go ahead and pause it if you wish to look at anything closer Alrighty, and now moving on from there, we got the little food area, you got some steins on the picnic tables. You got the Nuka Cola uh, freezer, which keeps your food from rotting fast. You got the Nuka Cola machine, and then you got the cooking stove, the, the minecart cooking stove. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And in here, we have a little greenhouse. We got some corn growing, uh, we got some. Uh, Tago's growing, and we got some chickens to make fertilizer. Pretty cool, pretty cool. That's actually the first time I've ever seen someone have the chicken coop. But to the left here, we have the power armor repair stations. And right here, we have a little bunker inside of the fort, which is the meeting room with a safe. Who knows what they keep in that safe? I've always found these pretty cool, but I don't know, they're really bulky, and I'm not big on that. To the left, we have the little workout area with some iron and a punching bag. A little guitar. Here is the two beds. I guess only two people stay here. Oh, okay, never mind. This isn't where they sleep. This is actually, uh, like a doctor's office place. So this is medical. This is a medical, medical tent. Sweet. I didn't even notice that before. I'll be honest. And here you got the symptomatic. Got some bathrooms. There's nothing in there to check. Got the dumpster and the radioactive barrel. And that is all the first floor. Now we head up here. There's not a whole lot up here. You got the crafting area. You got the sweet brotherhood of steel flag. Don't mind people buying my stuff. And these are the towers. So you can't really see over too well because there's only half walls. There's not quarter walls. I bet if there was quarter walls, they would have used them over the half walls. But Bethesda hasn't given that to us yet. Um, but this is what it looks like from up here. There's nothing in the other towers, and it just ends right there because the bunker's in the way. And they messaged me, and they said that they wish they could have more in it, but they're at max, um, like, build capacity. They can't build anymore. Yeah, this is a great concept. Uh, they executed it really well with how much they can 
have in it at least. So, with with what they could do, I think they did really well. I, I love it. That's why when I got here, it's like I have to record this video. This is great. I've never I've seen forks before, but they were never this good. And especially one to be th of this size and look good still and not look like it's just big and open and it looks like a dev room from Fallout 4. <laughs> it looks good. Jeez, that person is buying up everything, aren't they? Anyway, that will be it for this video. Thank you. Uh, go ahead and do me a favor and leave a comment down below what your favorite part of this camp was. Mine, I don't, I don't know. I think my favorite part, honestly, oh, that's a hard choice. My favorite part, ooh, I gotta go with this, this room right here, the doctor, like tent. I like that. I don't know why. It, it surprised me. I walked in, saw the beds. I was like, oh, this is cool. I was like, oh, this is the doctor's tent. I like that part. But honestly, I love this entire camp. Go ahead, tell me what you enjoy the most about this camp down below. I would greatly enjoy that to see what your favorite part is. Also, go check out the description below where else I am, like Patreon and Instagram, my other YouTube channel, which I'll be start uploading to again here soon. You know, all that stuff is down below. And I greatly appreciate that. Also, I would greatly appreciate if you subscribe, it is free. Also, like the video if you want more. Alright, that's gonna be it. Peace. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.